The Springboks have a fine history of intimidating lock forwards, so the rise to prominence of Lute de Jäger should come as no surprise. But his path to test rugby was far from conventional. Three years ago I was playing for NV Pucker at a university in Potsdam. I was playing Varsity Cup. I think I was a late bloomer at school. I played well, but I didn't play Craven Week or any of the youth weeks or SA schools or anything. And then I got an opportunity at the Cheetahs. Narko Jotsky, the coach there, uh, then gave me an opportunity. And yeah, here I am. Can't believe it, huh? Diego was still at school when South Africa last won the World Cup back in 2007. I was yeah, 14, grade 8. And uh, yeah, unbelievable night. We went, just went mad because me and my dad, we were rugby mad and uh, won the World Cup. It was amazing. And now playing with those guys in a World Cup, it's something you, know, you can't describe. I think for the young guys in the team, it's, it's amazing. It's immense. Uh, those guys, they bring such a calmness to the team, composure to the team. Guy like Victor, Furi, Skulk, those guys. So we bring the emotion, they bring the composure. Having had Victor Matfield alongside you is clearly an advantage when it comes to studying the opposition. Monday and Tuesday you look at the lineouts and what you want to do against them and what they do. It's a lot of analysing, a lot of research, but I like it. I like the lineout. It's a passion of mine, so, so I don't see it as a, as a chore or a work. I just see it as something I, I enjoy. Some some teams complicated a lot. I think we we're not we keep it simple. We have a lot of options, but it's simple options. We don't have triple spins and one guy running in because that's just that's just a recipe for disaster. So now you keep it simple, but we have a lot of we have a bit more than ten options, but we have it's simple options. At six foot nine inches tall, he was always destined for the second row. Luckily, we have props for the cushion, so we don't. We don't take, yeah, it's, it's tough, but I think on the props it's the toughest. So those guys, I take my hat off to them. Man. They have a tough, tough, tough job. It's one position I never want to play as props. So they take all the, all the punishment. We're just behind giving our all. So they take it from behind us giving all we have and the opposition giving all they have. So, you know, they're tough guys. So I take my hat off to them. Diego has forged a formidable partnership with Eben Etzebeth. Both still in their early 20s, they could well be the cornerstone of the Springbok pack for years to come. He's more an intense figure than I am. I'm more of a bit of a off the field. I'm a more of a relaxed guy, but he's as well. But I'm a more of a, I like to make a joke, um, bit of a, take it a bit easy, where he's a, he wants to, yeah. And especially on the field, I think we're both on the field, we're both pretty bad cop. Try to be bad cop, I wouldn't say, but yeah, there's no good cop, bad cop. We both go with a bad cop, better cop. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully that. it works. 